What if intelligence could be measured? On October 18, 1911, a French psychologist named Alfred Binet died, but his idea still shapes how we define human potential. Alfred Binet wasn't interested in labeling people, he wanted to help children who struggled in school. He believed intelligence wasn't fixed, but trainable, like a muscle. In 1905, the French government asked Binet to find a way to identify students needing extra help. At the time, intelligence was seen as innate, but Binet questioned that dogma. His mission, to measure ability, not worth. With collaborator Theodore Simon, he created the first Binet-Simon scale, the foundation of the modern IQ test. They tested reasoning, memory, attention, things that reveal how a child thinks, not how much they know. After Binet's death in 1911, others expanded his test, sometimes twisting his ideas into fixed IQ labels. He warned against it, saying, intelligence is not a single score, it's the ability to adapt. Today, from classrooms to AI models, Binet's legacy lives on every time we try to measure thinking itself. Which do you think defines intelligence more, creativity or logic? Comment below.